we expected that the, the state, the government, wouldn't be too much in love with what we had in mind with our new little newspaper. But it took them two weeks to actually start their, their low-level guerrilla warfare against us. Um, the first step was to threaten us in terms of the Internal Security Act. This is now the Minister of Justice saying that he has reason to suspect that we could serve as a conduit for the opinions of banned organizations, obviously meaning the African National Congress, which is ridiculous, I mean, it's outrageous. And then uh, we went through the whole thing where he demanded a registration fee of 30,000 Rand, which is the highest in the publishing history of South Africa. Normally, newspapers pay 10 Rand. Uh, the government probably knew that this was a fairly fragile project in terms of money. And, uh, but it, it worked out extremely well. We had uh, a tremendous response from our readers, and we had that money, and more than that, within 24 hours, without even asking for it. Um, other indications of, of government's uh, overreaction to our newspaper? Um, were the fact that they, they tried to, well, they, they uh, had me charged criminally under the Internal Security Act. A, with publishing an unregistered newspaper. B, with quoting Joe Slovo, who's a member of the African National Congress. And C, with publishing a, a, a picture of Mr. Nelson Mandela. Well, that was dropped in the end because, as we pointed out at the time, the picture that we used was, we got it from a, pu a propaganda publication Department of Information. So they withdrew that charge, but I'm still going to court, um, charged with publishing unregistered, unregistered newspapers um, and uh, quoting Joe Slovo.